So sometimes in ZBrush, when you're sculpting on an object with, for example, a clay tubes brush, you'll find that you sculpt on it from one side and then you turn it around and you realize that the mesh has collapsed. If you're using DynaMesh, which we are in this instance, and you then DynaMesh, you'll get this kind of Swiss cheese effect where you get all these holes. So what's happening and how do we fix it? The first thing is what's happening. Um, the brush width here, you see the size of the brush. Um, the width of that is bigger than the thickness of the object that we're actually sculpting on. So as I sculpt on this, it pushes the back and the front. It, it's building up both the back and the front towards the front. So what we need to do is auto mask the back. So the way to do that is to go to the brush menu, go down to auto masking, turn on back face mask. Now, when you sculpt on something, it will automa automatically mask anything that's a back face. In other words, not facing towards us. So this prevents this from happening in the first place. This is such a useful feature um, that I would encourage you to take that and put that onto your interface somewhere. In this instance, I put it over here. As you can see, if I change to a standard brush, it's turned off. If I go back to my clay tubes brush, clay tubes brush it's turned back on again. So this is brush sensitive. Uh, it won't actually be there the next time I start the clay tubes brush as it's not saved I would have to go to brush save as and save that clay tubes brush in order to have that there by default in the future so that's one way to prevent it from happening in the first place but if for some reason you've forgotten to turn off back face mask and you have sculpted it and now you see that you have this problem maybe you've dynameshed it and your mesh is now full of holes the way to fix this there's a couple of ways one you can take the same brush the clay tubes brush turn on back face mask this time and build up the volume again um, on both sides of your mesh. I'm just building this up and then I'll perform a DynaMesh again. Build it up and every time you do this the DynaMesh will be that little bit cleaner and eventually we can smooth it down and get back to where we were. Um, that's one way to do it. The other way I'm going to just undo this until we get back to where all the holes were. Something like this. The other way is to just use an inflate brush. So if you press B, I, and N for inflate, then we can just inflate this whole area. Inflate it up, do a DynaMesh, inflate it, DynaMesh, and just basically smooth it back out again when you're ready, and the holes will disappear. Hope these tips help. Um, if you have any suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see, just please do let me know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Bye.